What's up people, my name is Marvin and on today's video we are reacting to Marine Bootcamp. Um, I hope that we see some insights how it really is to be on a Marine Bootcamp. And yeah, I just have to mention that I do not have any clue about um, the military, so I'm just a random person reacting to what I see there. And yeah. I would say we hop right into the video. Okay, first impressions here, totally crazy, um, high hierarchy, so there is the, the drill master, um, who is just the boss, you don't have to say anything against him or loud to him. Um, yeah. This is Marine Crazy. Corps Boot Camp in Paris Island, South Carolina. Before they become United States Marines, all recruits have to graduate from the Marine Corps' 13-week basic training program, which tests them physically and psychologically. I think that the psychological aspect is very, very important in that case. So you have to be very fit and also in your head. It's a pressure cooker for 12 weeks. To go through the pressure, these 12 uh, weeks. An intimidating drone instructor, someone that's putting you under the scrutiny of attention to detail every single day. And to a certain degree, everything you do is never going to be good enough. Everything at boot camp sucks. It's going to hurt, it's going to be painful, but it's only going to hurt more if you look at it that way. Around, around, around! Yes, I guess it helps when you see the goal. prepare you for the challenges that lie beyond. We spent five days at Paris Island, where we saw different companies at various stages of training. You will not run, you will walk, get on the yellow footprints right now. Right, you will do what you're told to do, what you told to do it, and without question, do you understand? Yes, sir! On day one of boot camp, new recruits arrive at the receiving barracks, where they take their first steps toward becoming Marines by walking through these silver hatches symbolizing the threshold between the outside world and Paris Island. You walk through these silver hatches once and never again, you understand? Oh, <laughs> once inside, recruits are processed and assigned to their platoons. After graduation, Marines commit to a minimum of four years of service. Wow, so crazy how that is. At the moment, yeah, just shocked, but also um, you know it from some movies that um, it is like that. And yes, it seems like it is exactly like that. Um, yeah, very insane world inside of there, but helps to develop um, the future soldiers. Upon entering the Corps, an entry-level private will earn around $20,000 a year. Yes, sir. Recruits are required to make a phone call Aye, sir. to a family member or their recruiter to let them know they've arrived. This is Recruit Hatcher. I've arrived safe to that Paris Island. Please do not send any food to both the islands. They're only allowed to read the script printed for them inside the phone bank. I will contact you in seven to nine days by letter with my new address. Thank you for your support. Goodbye for now. <sighs> yeah, I guess this is um, very shocking for people um, who are not in the military world. But I think um, that over time you're just coming into it and it's just normal for you. Um, so I don't think it's... Um, a, a very big deal in the long term but in short term to uh, to understand how it um, all works um, just need some time I guess recruits are given three chances to get someone on the line sir my recruit is not answering sir call him again not every recruit is able to make a connection if there is no answer hang it up and close it Aye, sir. But they won't have long to dwell on it. The Marine Corps Recruit Depot in Paris Island sits on 8,000 acres of the South Carolina Low Country, 
It's one of two enlisted recruit depots in the United States. The other is in San Diego, where only male recruits are trained. Around 20,000 recruits graduate from Paris Island every year before joining the more than 180,000 Marines actively serving today. We take young men and women from all walks of life, all cultures. Maybe they were rich, maybe they were poor. They've got different religious backgrounds. They are the melting pot of America. And they come here with one common goal, and that's to be a United States Marine. Paris Island, South Carolina. Here, everyday Americans become Marines, the toughest fighting men in the world. Male recruits have been trained at Paris Island since 1915. Female recruits began to train there in 1949. Yeah, also nice uniforms that they have. Um, looks nice. Today, females comprise under 25% of recruits at Paris Island and approximately 8% of the United States Marine Corps, the lowest percentage of any United States military branch. A recruit's day begins before the sun comes up. Their typical okay, early morning is 0400 or 4 a.m. Okay, 4 a.m., wake up, go for a run. <clears throat> this is how you start a day. Recruits endure an intense series of physical challenges. 4-3, am I hearing that right? 4-3, yes sir, fail! Some recruits arrive in better shape than others. Some never did anything more than sit on a couch, you know, as a couch potato. And some may have been collegiate athletes. So there's a vast spread of what their athletic fitness and ability is. I said. Much of their training happens here, in Leatherneck Square, where a series of intimidating obstacles comprise... Wow, the that parkour looks crazy! And very difficult also, um, yeah. The confidence course. The training program is progressive in nature. It starts out in a crawl, walk, run approach throughout training. 99.9% .9 of those that get here can complete all those requirements at the end of training, regardless of how they start. I guess for normal people, this is not easy when you um, get shot so hard. Um, some of them maybe cry, but they're all tough. Um, they know why they're doing this and yeah, they are able to, to also, um, yeah, just not cry, come over that speech and just continuing what they are doing. Please help. I don't want to do this. I don't want to This is for Willis May. Any recruit with a fear of heights gets the chance to conquer that fear, courtesy of this 47-foot tall tower. Recruits must rappel down using two different methods. For me, the rappel tower was hard because I sort of had a fear of heights. Grab a my right hand with your right hand. You have to trust the rope. Yeah, but so in the end, be... it looks so, um, so soft how they are coming down. Worry about uh, it. You'll be safe all the time. Crazy, yeah? It looks nice. Recruits with a phobia of heights have little choice but to face their fear. One of the most dreaded parts of training is the gas chamber. Ooh, I saw that in some boxing movies and also some MMA fighting. Um, this is often the case when they try to train that you have bad air or just yeah, are fully exhausted and they are training um, with these masks after that. Maybe this is the case also here. Where recruits are exposed to CS gas, more commonly known as tear oh, gas. Oh, okay, no.
once the recruits enter the chamber, they break the seals of their gas masks. You go in, you feel it, instantly hit your skin, you just feel burning. What? Say something to me now! Feels like those few minutes felt like an hour. <laughs> this is hard. After around five minutes, the recruits are free. But the pain endures. You see it in their faces. Definitely you wow. thank God for fresh air. Oh. It's really nice to be able to breathe in and not feel an instant burning sensation. <laughs> Gas chamber is important because it builds confidence. Confidence in the gear, confidence in the drone shutters, and then confidence in themselves. <laughs> respect, much respect. Oh my God. Recruits are trained in different styles of hand-to-hand -hand combat. First thing we want to see is that straight crush, you understand? Yes, sir. A key aspect of their martial arts training is fighting with pugil sticks. You killed that opponent, you understand? Ah! The pugil stick techniques are intended to mirror those used in combat while using a bayonet. Here in the Marine Corps, we have a kind of a little ditty that means red is dead. So that red side is supposed to emulate the actual knife portion of the actual bayonet mounted on the weapon. So anything that you strike with that red tip, nine times out of 10 are either gonna be incapacitated or laid to rest. Oh, okay, so they um, have two types of colors um, on their stick. And the red one um, signalizes the knife, so at the end or at the beginning of the of the gun is a knife, and so yeah, just an e efficient near fight weapon. Yeah. Honestly, it gives them an opportunity to blow off a little steam. They have a lot of pent up aggression, especially towards maybe their drill instructors. They're out there, they're actually doing what they feel like they signed up to do, which is learn how to combat the enemy. Recruits also practice with actual bayonets. What? But not fighting against each other, huh? Oh, okay. And engage in other types of hand to hand combat. Although male and female recruits do intersect during training, platoons are separated by gender. And although the Recruit Depot has experimented with integration before, the Marine Corps is the only military branch that separates male and female recruits during basic training. Yes, sir! Ready, one. According to the Corps, every Marine is first and foremost a rifleman. Recruits spend the bulk of two weeks devoted to marksmanship, the first of which sees few shots actually fired. First off is the fundamentals. They have to understand how to aim. They have to understand exactly how to breathe when they're taking that shot. They have to understand exactly how to squeeze the trigger and how to have follow through and recovery with a rifle. Whoa. Okay, you see that they am um, holding very tight so yet yeah, just very hard that it's not moving around yeah combat operations is it's a special for every single marine regardless holding, of what, I don't know. Is. what it is to sit behind a rifle look down that barrel and be able to put lead on target the marine corps is defined as an amphibious warfare force Therefore, swimming plays a key role in training. Yeah, this is basic swimming, but they are swimming with clothes. And and when somebody has tried it out, um, write it in the comments and um, share your experience because this is not easy at all to swim with clothes. Um, they are just pulling you down, and you just need to have more strength um, to generally just be able to swim on the surface. During swim week, 
recruits go through numerous exercises in the pool while wearing their camouflage uniforms. But training at Paris Island isn't all physical. Recruits also spend long hours in the classroom. Okay. But what may seem like downtime can end at any moment. When a drill instructor decides to order an impromptu cardio session at Paris Island. I also guess as a drill instructor, this is very, very hard to, uh, for in the beginning to to hold your voice because you're always screaming and I don't know when you're screaming like for some times in a day you just feel that pain here in the in that area and I don't know how they are doing it but much respect it's what's known as winning it's also um, very hard training to be able to do that it's an experience you realize the thing you've done to get in a sand pit and then you realize okay that hurt so Let's not do that again. Physically it hurts, but me personally, I never worried about the pain I was feeling in my body. It was more thinking about the mistake I made and how I need to correct it the next time. So there's going to be some chaos because when they come here, we want to tear them down a little bit. And then we want to bring them back up in, in the mold of what it is to be a United States Marine. Training culminates in an event known as the Crucible. Over the course of 54 hours, with minimal sleep and food, recruits must endure realistic combat scenarios. The sounds of gunfire and shelling are played over loudspeakers mounted in the training area. Yeah, and I guess they have the original... Um how to say it, loudness, I don't know. Um, and also this is what I meant with the mentally aspect that this is not easy to Those handle. Force to work together, to overcome obstacles, and achieve objectives that require problem solving and strategy. Yes, sir, all over. Yes, sir. This is what we saw on the second day. The recruits had become exhausted and irritable. Ooh, you see um, how hot the first day was here in his face. I'm thinking, man, like, it's hot, I'm thirsty, my arms haven't felt this bad in my whole life. We're halfway there, come on. You just keep looking at the person to the left and right, and you're like, well, he's doing it, I gotta keep going. Uh, like, I'm not gonna let him do it on his own. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So there's no reason not to push. Uh. Once the crucible is complete, these recruits officially become Marines. The day before graduation, friends and family see their new Marines for the first time in more than three months. And in this moment, all the hard work paid off. All that pain that you were going through paid off. You reached your goal, and I guess this is a, a good moment for you. Families that come down for graduation day that haven't seen their son or daughter in about three months immediately notice not only a physical but an intangible difference. Now the parade is going on. When they walk across that parade deck on train day 70 and they graduate, they're no longer recruits the Marines. Meanwhile, in the barracks of Lima Company... I'm talking to you. Aye, sir. Are you real good here? Aye, sir. All that trash on. Aye, sir. Brand new recruits diligently square away their racks before being warmly welcomed by their senior drill instructor. Sit up straight! 
Hey, look at me. Our mission is to train each one of you to become a United States Marine. Discipline and spirit are the hallmarks of a Marine. We will give every effort to train you, even after some of you have given up on yourself. Starting now, you will treat me and all other Marines with the highest respect. Physical or verbal abuse by any Marine or recruit will not be tolerated. My drone stars and I will be with you every day. Everywhere you go, you must give 100% of yourself at all times. Above all else, never quit or give up. We offer you the challenge of a good trade and the opportunity to earn the title. United States Marine. Yes! Yeah, hard words, but in the end, very clear, structured, and you know what you have to do. And yeah, with these words, I um, end the re a reaction here. Um, hope you guys um, enjoyed the video. Um, would be nice to see a little like on the video. And yeah, see you guys hopefully in my next one. Goodbye.